Today, we're installing and using Belina Etcher on Linux Mint 22.3, and we're doing it the clean, stable way. No app image tricks, no experimental builds, no shortcuts that break later. Just the official Debian package, installed once and done right. This video is for anyone who wants a reliable USB flashing tool that actually works every time. Whether you're creating a Linux installer, flashing a recovery image, or preparing a bootable drive for another system, this is one of the safest tools out there. Take a breath, let's walk through it together. Before we install anything, let's talk about what we're going to install and why we're choosing this method. Belina Etcher officially supports Debian and Ubuntu-based systems, which means Linux Mint is fully covered here. The developers provide a proper Debian package, that package integrates cleanly with your system, shows up in the menu like a normal app, and receives updates through the system instead of running in isolation. That's why we're using the deb package. It's stable, tested, and boring in the best possible way. You'll see multiple formats, but the one we care about is the Debian package for x64 systems. That's the correct choice for most Linux Mint 22.3 installations running on modern hardware. Download the deb file and let it finish completely. Don't open it halfway through, just let it land in your downloads folder. While that's downloading, one quick reminder. Always download tools like this from the official source. USB flashing tools run with elevated permissions, and you don't want to gamble with random builds from mirrors or forums. Okay, once the download finishes, you're ready to install. Open your file manager and go to your downloads folder you'll see the Belina Etcher deb file sitting there. It usually has the version number in the name, so it's easy to recognize. Now here's the simple part. Double-click that file. Linux Mint will open it using the software manager. This is exactly what we want. No terminal yet, no commands, just a clean install window. Enter your password and let it proceed. The installation itself is fast, usually just a few seconds. Once it's done, you can close the installer window. That's it. Etcher is now installed system-wide. Now let's actually open it and see what we're working with. Open the application menu and search for Etcher. You'll see Belina Etcher appear in the list. Click it. The first launch may take a moment. That's normal. After that, the interface appears. And this is where Etcher really shines. No clutter, no advanced options thrown in your face. Just a clean, focused layout. You'll see three main steps laid out from left to right. Select image, select target, flash. That's the whole workflow. Let's walk through a real example. First, click select image. This opens a file picker. Navigate to wherever your ISO file is stored. This could be a Linux distribution ISO, a rescue disk, or any supported image file. Select the file and confirm. Etcher immediately checks the image. It verifies that the format makes sense and that it's something it knows how to flash. If the file is broken or incomplete, Etcher will tell you right away. Next, you'll select the target drive. Before you do this, plug in your USB flash drive. Give it a second to be recognized by the system. Now click Select Target. Etcher will show you a list of removable drives. And here's something important. Etcher is very careful at this step. It tries hard not to show your internal system drive. That's a big safety feature. Still, don't rush. Double check the size and name of the USB drive. Make sure you're selecting the correct one. Once you're sure, select it and confirm. Now comes the final step, flash. Click the flash button. At this point, Linux Mint will again ask for your password. This is expected. Writing raw images to USB requires elevated permissions. Enter your password and continue. Etcher will now start flashing the image to the USB drive. You'll see a progress bar, and the process usually takes a few minutes depending on the image size and speed of your USB drive. One thing I really appreciate about Etcher is that it doesn't just write the image and stop. After flashing, it automatically verifies the data. This extra step makes sure the image on the USB matches the original file exactly. Yes, it takes a bit more time, but it saves you from boot failures later. And honestly, that trade-off is worth it. Once verification completes, you'll see a success message. Your bootable USB is ready.